morning everybody it's me it's cappy boy again here i am we got another kosh or q hush uh extreme energy and focus this one is electric blue and i really like this can's art this one this one's probably my favorite of the three flavors i have you know i don't know what it is it's just that neon blue color with like pink and purple pinkish purple i guess i mean it's i say it's more pink but you could say that's magenta or something like that I don't know. There's something about it. It's like Decker's colors from Saints Row the Third. I always thought their colors were cool. Oh, wait. I just noticed this has like a headphone. So maybe he is an actual Decker. Is this like gamer feel? No, because they advertise that they like are for like exercising things. So you know what? Q Hush Skull Man, I'm confused by your plus and three dot Sharingan thing. <laughs> um. You know, we already talked a little bit about the the crush a quash thing with the uh, bubblegum flavor, which wasn't so bad. People were saying that these flavors, this whole brand, uh, is horrible on Amazon. So, so far, I don't really see it. Maybe this one tastes absolutely garbage, but it sure has it in the aesthetics. It says uh, 300 milligrams of caffeine, vitamin C, and zero gram or zero sugar. 300 milligrams of caffeine, taurine, L-carnide, ginseng, B vitamins, vitamin C, and L-theanine. No topic. It's like a video game controller. It is so. It is for like gamers, isn't it? I mean, it can't be a coincidence that two things on there are like video game things. Don't drink this if you're under 18. Caffeine from all sources, 300 milligrams plus B vitamins and all that jazz. So let's go to the nutrition facts and ingredients. Serving sizes: one can, zero calories, zero grams fat. 247 milligrams of sodium. That seems kind of high, but it's only 7%. Zero grams of carbs. Zero gram sugar. Zero added sugar. 1% potassium. 1,177% of your B6. 1,250% of your niacin. And 833% of your B12. And ingredients include carbonated water. Treated water. Huh, I don't think the bubblegum had that. <laughs> That's kind of weird. I don't have the cans for that anymore, unfortunately. Uh, citric acid, malic acid, taurine, trisodium citrate, L-carnite tartrate, flavoring. So they've graduated from just flavor to flavoring. So obviously somebody's got the different format for each flavor. That's so weird. This is so weird, guys. Um... Whereas caffeine, vitamin C, which is ascorbic acid, L-theanine, extract, preservatives, which is potassium sorbate, sodium benzoate, sweeteners, sucralose and acylphane, what? Acylphane potassium's a sweetener? Did not know that. Um, check the blog on that. I had no idea that acylphane potassium was considered a sweetener. Anti-foaming agent. What? What is going on with this flight? This is anti-foaming agent. Vitamin B6, pyridoxine hydrochloride. Uh, vitamin B5, which is CA... Oh, calcium pantotate, depantotate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, the way they write it is very weird. This, this, this is very strange. And vitamin B12, cyanocobalamin. Anti-foaming agent? What? <laughs> and treated water? The I swear the bubblegum one did not have treated water. So maybe that's why the bubblegum one tasted fine. And then we have this, which is really weird. Ah, man, this is such a weird company. Because it's not even... Like, there was clear differences between the two ingredients-wise. You figure, like, you know, it's a bubblegum flavor and electric blue, whatever that's going to be. Probably blue raspberry, to be quite honest. Um, you'd think there wouldn't be that much differences, but there was like two or three different kind of ingredients in these. All right, let's open it. Is it going to have colors? I don't think so. I don't know if that's just me because the can't label is it, or is that part of their gimmick because it was making a very crunchy sound. Anti-foaming agent? There's plenty of foam, so the anti-foaming agent ain't working. <laughs> <laughs> There's no color, by the way. Didn't think there would be because I don't remember seeing like a dye ingredient or whatever. No real smell from the few feet away that I am. Let's see up close. <coughs> mm. Woo! 
that does not smell nice whatsoever. That smells like um, water that's been sitting out and mosquitoes are brewing in it. <laughs> that's what that smells like. Wow, that is not nice. You're very medicinal to end the back of the smell. All right, let's have a sip. Hmm. Taste-wise, way better than it smells. Holy moly. Yeah. Okay, first sip you get, it's very, you know, carbonated water effect. Kind of citrusy as well because of, you know, citric acid. Eventually, it starts developing more of a tart taste. Yes, it is going to be a blue raspberry flavor in the end. It's not quite Jolly Rancher-like, but it is... It's there. It's it's like store brand almost Jolly Rancher candy. Like it's probably called like Caps Blue Hard Candy or something like that. K A P P S or something like that. Um, it does develop pretty strongly in the middle part, so it is sort of enjoyable. Unfortunately, tor as it gets towards the end of the uh, middle part of the flavor and then into the ending. It sort of takes a more vitamin-y, medicinal kind of flavor as well. It it doesn't exactly beat out that nice kind of tart blue raspberry flavor that we like, but it is strong enough to be noticeable. People who don't really like energy drinks would probably find this really off-putting. They probably would not reach for quash. They would not crush the quash. Yeah, right in that, like, medicinal part, there's also kind of a strange chemically flavor as well. In addition to the medicinal flavor, it's, it's like whatever treated water or whatever they used is giving off whatever chemicals was used to treat the water. I don't know what it is, but it's, it's not quite, it's not that nice. Yeah, this flavor's not as good as the bubblegum one. At least that one was, like, kind of, like, you could tell it was trying to be that zero sugar kind of thing. This one, too medicinal for my liking to actually like be a repeat customer for Electric Blue at least. But it is, it's better than, you know, bad. It's, it's passable. I could drink the rest of the Blue Crush cans that I have here. Quash. It, it, it could be way, way worse. Uh, aftertaste, kind of just fake sugar taste, to be quite honest. Sucralose, kind of lingering in the aftertaste. It's better than the medicinal flavor, though. Um, for that, I'm gonna have to pass on this one, man. I'm, 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 I'm gonna say no to this specific flavor. I'm, I'm breaking the can. I'm trying to fix it, but <laughs> making it worse. Um, if you had to buy, like, a variety pack, I guess you'd be alright with this, but you'd probably don't want more than 12 cans of that you probably only want like five that's probably the most you'll ever want and i will give it unfortunately it doesn't live up to the decker's color so it's more like um it's more like the one decker car that only fits two people out of red 